Pennsylvania Highway 581, Interstate 81, and Interstate 83. The Capitol Beltway. No, not that Capitol Beltway. That Capitol Beltway. Yeah, I'm talking about the one in Harrisburg, and we're going to be shaming not one, not two, but three highways today. And we are going to be looking at the Capitol Beltway in Harrisburg. Let's have a look at our map. As you can see, we are looking at three routes, and they are all marked in different colors here. Normally, I mark my routes in red, but this time, since we're doing three highways, the main route that we would be looking at is marked in red. That's PA581. The blue is I-81, and the green is I-83. These three routes form a whole loop around Harrisburg, and that's what we'll be shaming today. You're watching the Xavier 456. I post new highway content every week. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and give us a like. And if you really like it, go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Alright, I must remind you that you can request your exit or intersection down in the comments below. Next week, we'll be finishing off the Shaming PennDOT series with PA611. Alright, let's start by talking about the inner loop of the Capitol Beltway in Harrisburg. So here we start on the intersection with I-83, has it split southbound to I-76 in the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and we're getting signage for York and Baltimore. I am really glad you threw Baltimore on there. Normally you don't recognize that 83 goes to Baltimore, but it is a one-off occurrence that you do, and I am glad you do. But our route we're going to be following right now is PA581, which is signed for Camp Hill and Gettysburg. And these are US 15's controls. And Gettysburg's okay, but Camp Hill? Absolutely not! Camp Hill is right off of this freeway, and it is a suburb of Harrisburg. From here, you should be signing Sealands Grove if you really want to put something for US 15 so badly. Gettysburg's okay, but I'd rather see Sealands Grove rather than Camp Hill. Here we meet with US 11 and 15. 15 goes alone southbound, and we'll be meeting with US 11 southbound later on. And North 11 and 15 have their concurrency here. South 15 is getting signed for Gettysburg, as I stated earlier, and North 11 and 15 are signed for Camp Hill. Again, no, sign Sealands Grove, because that's where both of the routes are ultimately going. I don't want to see a suburb on this sign. If you can sign Gettysburg, then you can sign something else that's further away. And meanwhile, PA581 is signed to I-81, and guess what it gets? Carlisle. Of course, it gets the turnpike treatment, because what else would it get? Did you forget about Hagerstown or Roanoke? Now we meet with US-11, which is only getting the Kentucky treatment of Carlisle Pike. So what you're gonna need to do here is remove Pike. Keep Carlisle there because 11 is the route to sign Carlisle. Absolutely not 81 because Turnpike cities I hate. Turnpike cities are not great. And now we meet with I-81, which is signed south for Carlisle and north for Harrisburg when we just came from Harrisburg. And 81 does not even touch the downtown Harrisburg, so why would it even be signed here? <laughs> But anyways, 81 North is the route we will be following to continue on the Beltway. What should be signed here at this point is Scranton, or Wilkes-Barre, either of the two. We meet with 11 and 15 again, when this time they get Enola and Marysville, because we already met with them earlier. And what would we be signing there? I mean, you could sign Enola or Camp Hill, but Marysville? No, that should be Sealands Grove. And here we meet with US-22 and 322, and we saw this sign back in the 322 video. And we can see West is signed for Lewistown and State College. Only State College would probably do there. East-22 and PA-230 get signed for Harrisburg and a Kentucky treatment of Cameron Street. I mean, this road is going close to downtown Harrisburg, so I guess that would be okay. And now we meet with I-83, and East US-322 is continuing with us. We saw this in the 322 video as well. And North 81 is going to 78 for freaking Hazleton and Allentown. What Todd says this should be is Allentown and New York. He would be favoring I-78 here, and not 81, because it's much more important. This road is a major traffic driver from here to New York, so... Pennsylvania does everything they can to neglect it, purposefully. And meanwhile, South 83 and East 322 are signed to the Pennsylvania Turnpike for Hershey and York. That should be Hershey and Baltimore. And here we meet with US-22 once again, which is only getting the Kentucky treatment of Jonestown Road. If there should be two control cities on there, they should be Harrisburg and Allentown. 
This is the road to sign Allentown on, not 78. And here we meet with I-283, which is going to I-76 and the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This is the road that'll go there. And it's signed for HBG International Airport, just because that's where it's gonna end up at PA-283. And there's an exit to the airport off of that. But 83 South is now signed for Harrisburg and York. Just because we're going back downtown doesn't mean we should be signing it, really. But that should say York and Baltimore, or Harrisburg and Baltimore if you want to get technical. And here we get our exit to the Capitol and 2nd Street, and we have a nice view of the Harrisburg skyline. This exit was requested by Cornemanche 437 because this leads to the Amtrak station. And here we come back to where we started, and we get West 581 stupidly for Camp Hill and OK for Gettysburg, and we get South 83 and 76 for York and Baltimore. And now let's turn around and talk about the Outer Loop of the Capitol Beltway. So we're gonna start here at the same place and we see 83 is signed north for Harrisburg and Hershey. That's what we'll be following. And Hershey's signed there just because of 322. That should probably be Harrisburg and Scranton or whatever. And we still get the York and Baltimore for South 83 and 276. And this is the bridge over the Susquehanna. And this was requested by Quartermanch 437, not because of the Harrisburg skyline in the distance, but because trains. Trains! He loves trains, and so do I! I love trains! Trains! And here we meet with I-283 South for HBG International Airport and Lancaster, and I'm glad that's signed there. And 322 East is signed for Hershey, and we get North 83 and West 322 for Hazleton and State College. State College is correct, but Hazleton should be Scranton. And here you meet US-22, which is signed for Jonestown Road once again. Kentucky treatment. I'd rather see Allentown there. And here we get the split for North 81 and South 81. North is going to 78 for Hazleton and Allentown. Once again, that should be Allentown in New York or Scranton in New York. South 81 and West 322 are signed for Carlisle and State College. What did I tell you? That should be Roanoke and State College or Hagerstown State College. I don't know which one to choose, but I think the better option would be Roanoke. And here we get East 22 and West 22 and 322 in different directions. East is going to Harrisburg and Cameron Street, and West 22 and 322 are going to Lewistown and State College, and we're still following 81, which is still getting the freaking turnpike treatment. We cross the Susquehanna once again, and we meet 11 and 15 signed for Marysville and Enola. Once again, I should say Sealands Grove should be signed northbound. Now we meet East 581 to US 11, which we will be taking, signed for Camp Hill. And I assume there might have been something else on there, but I don't know what it is. It could have been Gettysburg, but I don't know. Either way, where is Harrisburg? We're going back to Harrisburg via this road. Stop favoring this suburb and stop favoring Carlisle for 81 South. And here is where we meet US 11, which is just getting Carlisle Pike. This should be signed for Carlisle. And East 581 and North 11 is still signed for Camp Hill and Gettysburg for 15. You should keep Gettysburg on there, that's for 15, but sign Harrisburg, cause we are going to downtown. And here we meet 11 and 15 once again for Camp Hill and Gettysburg. But once again, Gettysburg's okay. Camp Hill, suburb, sign Sealands Grove. And I forgot to mention that this exit was requested by Quartermanch 437 because he actually has childhood memories of this exit. He got off of it to go to an Arby's. And shortly we're gonna be meeting 83 for Harrisburg and York. Again, Harrisburg and Baltimore. And now we come back to where we started and we meet South 83 and Toll 76, York, Baltimore, and 83 North Harrisburg, Hershey. Again, should be Hershey and Scranton or whatever. <sighs> Man, that was a lot to go through. But before I leave Harrisburg, I need to do one thing. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. This was some excessive shaming. I apologize if I offended any of you, but this is for entertainment purposes only. Next week, we'll be concluding the series with PA611. We're gonna head to Pennsylvania's largest city and some other areas in the east to finish it off. All right, I will see you then, and may peace be with you.